In this tutorial, I will talk about the palettes from the CTG layer. Each time you apply a color inside a CTG layer, this color is actually saved into a palette. This palette can be found just here on Edit Colors. Each time I add a new squiggle, this squiggle is saved within this palette. So it's really easy for me to create a palette and to save this palette and import it for a different project. And uh, that's then really handy since when you have created a palette, you can save it and use it with uh, the other person from your production, from your project. So let's use this project. So it's a, a normal model sheet. And I will open a CTG layer and I will click on this palette to open the edit colors. So now I don't need to fill anything. I would just like to pick up the different colors. To pick up a color, you can click on the A color like this, or you can use the little pick up color icon just here. Or you can use the semicolon shortcut. So just hit a color like this and hit here, add color A and then you can give a name to this color. And you can repeat the process for all of the colors. I didn't write the name in the good case. <laughs> So once uh, I want to pick up all colors, I think you understood the, the process. So once the palette is done, I have the possibility to save it like this. Then it opens your Finder or your uh, Windows Explorer and you can save the palette as a PAL file. So let's now open this palette in this character, because I have already done a palette for this character, so I will edit color and I will load from file. And this file is named Running Guy Palette Load. And here is my palette. So now, um, if I want to color this character and avoid to add, for example, red or any other colors that are not from uh, this palette, I will check use these colors only. And now I'm sure I'll never use a color that I was not supposed to use. By the way, once your layer is completely colored, like this, you have the possibility to quickly change one of those colors in very few clicks. So let's click on Edit Colors. And let's imagine I would like to change the green into red. So I pick, I choose the color and I pick the color and then I will pick any color here. And then you see here we have green to red. To apply the change, I hit Apply Changes. Then it will first change the color of the squiggle and then apply the new color area. And here we are 